This is a guided meditation using one of the Taoist ideas of moving through the orbit of the Ren and the Du meridian channels of the body. In Chinese medicine, we understand that up along the front of the body and up along the back of the body, we've got two very important channels. And these run up along the front and the back of the spine. Both of these originate down in the base of the pelvis. Up along the whole front of the body, we have the Ren channel, which begins right at the perineum. Sometimes it's also called the conception vessel or the conception channel. And it runs all the way up toward the face. And then also beginning in the pelvis, we have the Du channel or the governing vessel, which begins at the tip of the tailbone, essentially, and runs up along the back of the spine, up to the top of the head. In this meditation, we are going to be exploring using our awareness to travel along this orbit, almost like the shape of an egg along the front and the back of the body. Sometimes this practice can bring up visuals or images or interesting sensations in the body. So at any time, if you feel like you need to stop, or if you feel like it would be grounding to place your hands on your body somewhere or open your eyes, please feel very welcome to do that or to come out or even to lay down on the floor if you need to rest. The suggestion is that you take this meditation in an upright seated position. I'm sitting up on a little bolster. I've got my legs in a relaxed, comfortable, cross-legged position, but you could have your legs extended out. You could be leaning back against a wall. That's okay. So take a little bit of time now to figure out where you want to be, how you want to sit, if you want any props supporting you, if you want any layers keeping you warm. And once you begin to settle in, if it feels okay for you, you can close down the eyes. You might need a couple of moments here to first wiggle or shuffle, check in with your body to see if it needs you to rearrange anything. Before we start moving through the orbit, let's just take a moment to encourage the body to land here, wherever you have set it up. Taking a moment to see if you can feel the sensation of the surfaces underneath you, where your feet and legs might be in direct contact with your yoga mat or floorboards or carpet or whatever it is that you're sitting on. And encourage your body to rest down into those surfaces, particularly when you're breathing out. That can be a nice place to feel the sensation of downward rest through your body. The belly can be relaxed, the shoulders can be soft, heavy bones. Inviting some softness into your face, particularly through the jaw and the teeth where we can clench and not even know that we're doing it. Inviting yourself now to take one more step inward to begin feeling your breath moving in and out of your body. If your nose is unblocked, it can be helpful to invite a really even rhythmic 
breath to move in and out of the nose as you inhale and exhale. Establishing a nice foundation in the rhythm of your inhales and exhales. As that breath continues to flow nice and easy in and out let's just take a, a short guided tour <laughs> through the orbit to start with starting to bring a little bit of your attention down through the body down to where you know the tip of your tailbone to be. You might get an image of that. You might even get the memory of a sensation of touch happening at your tailbone. Or you might simply just be aware of knowing where that is in your body. If it's helpful, you could even imagine that you are lightly touching the tip of your tailbone with the end of your pointer finger. And then nice and slowly, just in your own mind's eye, starting to trace a line from that tip of the tailbone forward and up over the pubic bone. Tracing a line from the pubic bone up through your lower belly, toward your belly button and continue tracing that line from the belly button upward through the upper abdomen, up through the middle of the chest, so through the sternum bone, up in between the two collarbones, tracing that line up the front of the throat, over the chin, up through the bottom and top lip, up and over the tip of your nose and bridge of your nose, moving up through that little gap between the eyebrows, up through the forehead, brushing through the hairline, up toward the top of the head, And now we're going to continue cascading down the back. So continuing with that line from the top of the head down over the back of the skull, the base of the skull. We're just gonna follow the spine all the way down, down the back of the neck, down between the shoulder blades, through the back ribs through the lower back and eventually coming to rest where we started at the tip of the tailbone. So now that we have that map, a track if you will, we're going to start incorporating the breath. We might do a few rounds together and then you are very welcome at that point to move at the pace that serves you. You might even change direction if that's a better fit for you. Very welcome to explore this. Wherever you are in your breathing right now, just slowly exhale your breath out. And starting at the tip of the tailbone, as you inhale, Use that inhalation to trace that line 
from the tip of the tailbone up the front of the body. Timing it so that as you get to the top of your inhale, you've traced that line up to the top of the head. And using the exhalation to trace down the back of the head, the back of the body, arriving at the end of the exhale, once again at the tip of the tailbone. To repeat that again, inhaling up along the front of the body. Exhaling down the back of the body. Inhaling up the front of the body. Exhaling down the back of the body. Inhaling up the front of the body. Exhaling down the back of the body. Continuing with that, making any changes or explorations that you want to. If you know that this is something that you're going to want to explore for longer than three or four minutes, this could be a time that you pause the recording and come back to be guided out with me. If not, we're going to take a couple of minutes here in quiet for you to explore this. Following the breath.
wherever you happen to be in that oval on that track. The next time you arrive back at the tailbone at the end of an exhale, just inviting yourself to find an ending there, allowing this to come to a close. And just loosening your connection to the track and simply returning to the feeling of breathing. The breath might even want to change slightly. You may want to invite a little more in as you inhale and a little more out as you exhale. Deepening the breath after meditation can sometimes be a nice way to give yourself a transition. Bringing wakefulness into your form If and when the time feels right, you could gently move fingers or turn the head. And slowly think about a little blink of the eyes or letting some of the light of the room come in as eyes begin to open. Noticing how you're feeling after that. If it feels grounding, you could bring the hands onto the belly or the chest, even into a prayer position if that's where you like the hands to be. Thank you for joining me in this meditation. Take a rest on the floor if you need that after this and take care of yourselves. Namaste.